Well, you know, uh, everybody and their brothers throws a shaky head, you know, and little bitty uh, worms, uh, little weights, and you know they'll they'll work it like this, let it go to the bottom, and um, we started fishing it with a little bit bigger bait, a little heavier jig head, and uh, just dragging it on the bottom, which we found out to be more effective in, in catching uh, more fish and bigger fish, and. Uh, the key is uh, not to work the rod much, but just to uh, drag it on the bottom where it comes through every rock down there. You will get hung up every once in a while, but just flip it off those rocks. A lot of times when you flip it off the rock is when they're going to hit it. Uh, I got one going here now. Not a very big one. Uh, this bait uh, is a numbers bait. And you will catch some, some smaller fish on it, but you just get a lot of bites. You just wade through those smaller ones and you'll have a bunch of good fish. And uh, they asked me if I would help design a bait specifically, you know, for this technique. And we came up with the salt flicker, which uh, it's uh, similar to a Cinco, but it's got a couple little arms and some ridges on it. And uh, a lot of times those little arms are what you, you need to get to uh, trigger the bites. And sometimes the fish actually hit it better when you pinch those arms off, but it gives you the flexibility of figuring out which way they like it the best. Uh, the bait has a lot of uh, salt and sand in it, which makes it sink, and uh, that's what you want on this bait, is something that's going to drag right through the bottom. You know, th this bait is can be good at any time, but uh, some of the very uh, best times to fish, you know, we're in a hot uh, spell right now. So, uh, some of the time, right in the middle of the afternoon on these 100 degree days, the uh, bass will come up uh, from one to five on these shallow places and chase shad. When you start seeing big shad, not the little ones and not just the swirl, but you start seeing big shad coming out of the water, uh, there's almost always a school of big bass after them. And you can just sit there and catch them one after the other. But people say, when's the best time to go in the middle of summer? I said one to five and they look at you like you're crazy. But it, it happens quite a bit. Uh, I like to fish this on two different uh, jig heads. One of them is the Biffle hard head, and the other one is a shaky head jig. It's a quarter ounce. You want something with quite a bit of weight. The, this one's um, made by uh, people down at Ufala, Oklahoma. Okay, you can hook it in just a little, little, little ways. Uh, on this, it's got that extra hook, which is the keeper. So slide that, and you have to turn it around, and then hook it in the belly. And uh, it doesn't have to hang, you know, perfectly straight, but uh, you know, that's basically what it is. And when you fish the bait, throw it out. It's a great summertime bait on rocks. It's not a good bait uh, fishing in the brush or whatever. And I do like to throw it on a spinning rod. The bait caster is fine. But, uh, and uh, the, the main thing on this bait is you don't want to work it up and down like this. You just want to drag it where you're hitting on the bottom. Dragging it through every rock that you got down there. Oh, I, that's a fish. I wasn't going to jerk. <laughs> well, that's a pretty decent fish too. Not a big one. That fish, uh, they just sometimes they'll hit it hard, sometimes they hang on to it. Uh, that felt almost exactly like I was just hung up. You notice I didn't jerk the right way. The fish had to convince me it was a bite.